Welcome back to the Hawkeye Garage. I am Joe. Um, uh, this week's video is going to be a little hectic. We're going to take a quick look at a lot of things, uh, especially since it's going to be Easter Sunday. Um, we'll just hammer through these things real quick and give you an update on what's been going on here in the garage. I've had a lot of little projects going on, nothing that really bared making a full length video or kind of lended itself to making a full length video. On, uh, let's see, the GX was in the shop, I mentioned that uh, earlier, actually getting worked on professionally. Uh, these things are known for having exhaust manifold leaks for several different reasons because they had a couple different styles depending on the year. This is a 07, so it had the, the welded steel version that used a, used a steel plate as kind of the, the thing to sandwich the gasket in place. So basically where the tube uh, of the exhaust manifold goes up to the engine, to the gasket, it's welded to the rest of the header. Um, and that weld had cracked on one of them. So they pulled that off. I took it down to a machine shop that we use for work and they were able to TIG weld that real beautifully uh, back together without putting a bunch of heat into it, didn't warp it or anything. Uh, of course, you had to get some studs and some nuts from uh, Toyota to put it all back together, but it is doing fantastic. There's a little bit of tick on the driver or the passenger side now that we couldn't hear before because of how loud the driver's side was, but um, it must be really small because after only running for like a minute or two, the metal heats up, uh, closes essentially, and the noise is gone. So maybe we'll get that addressed before winter time because I don't want to have to take it in when it's all covered in snow and sludge and stuff and have those guys work on it. But um, yeah, there's that. I did mention that in my Instagram and some people were curious on what it cost. Uh, for me, it cost, it was $450 in parts and labor. Um, that was exhaust manifold gaskets and donuts and whatever hardware they needed to get from Toyota. Um, and the uh, welding literally was like two inches of uh, TIG welding was 20 bucks. Your results may vary. So what else? Um, oh, uh, on the inside, uh, I also showed a picture on my Instagram. I got a new steering wheel. Uh, we've got, this is a leather wrapped steering wheel out of a Sequoia that I just randomly happened on at a junkyard. And it is kind of hard to tell because of the different, different texture of materials and the lighting and stuff. This is like 99.9% .9 the exact same color as that in in person. It's awesome. This does have a little uh, cut in it. Um, it was a wrecked vehicle, so, you know. But the leather actually is in really good shape, and I know you guys are all going to want to know, like, what year and version of the Sequoia it was. I forgot to check. I wanted to take a picture of the door sticker so I could get the interior code and stuff. Um, obviously, it was a first-gen Sequoia. Um, it will still be there the next time I go back to this junkyard, and I will get that information, and I will definitely get it posted out um, somewhere. Kind of changes the uh, scheme of what I thought I was going to do with the interior. Um, more to come with that in the future, and I'm sure you can guess it has to do with the cracked dash. We also got some new shoes and uh, tires. Shoes and tires, wheels and tires, new shoes, new wheels, new tires on the, uh, the GX. We went ahead and, uh, yes, those are in fact different wheels. Let me pull up a stool here so I can sit a little bit more stably. These are early 5th uh, gen trail edition wheels, currently upside down because I got some custom graphics on there. But um, they have the non-black painted inserts, which personally I so much prefer. I think it looks a little bit classier. I think that black paint, I don't know, they just kind of look cheap. Chintzy, I, I don't know, not a fan. Um, so I went ahead and I picked these up real cheap. Facebook with some had some road tires on them. We're gonna sell those tires 80 bucks if you want some road tires, Iowa hit me up uh, And we went ahead and got the gold standard some BFG KO2s in the 285 7017 C load um, The other ones although were not what I would consider noisy They weren't what I would consider be to be quiet and they were a little bit harsher ride than what we wanted but like i've said before those 
Coopers that I had before were never meant to be uh, on this GX. Um, and so we decided to switch some stuff up. I already sold the other set, wheels and tires together, so no need to hit me up with that. But uh, yep, I mounted those up and got those balanced today. And they are riding so much smoother and so quiet, especially with the exhaust leak fixed. This thing <laughs> runs and drives like a Lexus now. All right, bear with me. Lighting is gonna wash this out, plus everyone in my neighbor is neighborhood is outside, so it's gonna be loud. Ooh, what do we, that's uh. What do we got there? FJ, is that wrapped? Anyway, um, I've been working on the third gen and I've actually been driving it. I need to do some more videos on this because I have lots and lots of thoughts and feelings about this thing. But uh, quick update, uh, yes, I, uh, we've got some spring action going on and uh, we are sans rear sway bar now. You guys know how I like to roll with the Toyotas with no rear sway bar. And it was the bolts were all rusted, so I couldn't take it off to do the springs. So that just kind of happened. Anyway, um, yes, we have the painted FJ Cruiser wheels. Yes, I just sanded them down. Primer, Rust Oleum. Did those. I've got some $50 used Dura tracks on here, 265, 70, 17. Looking pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Also, come on, lighting. I picked up another set of, uh, these are two used 265-70-17s for free from a tire shop, place I go to for work. Um, got those for free, so now I will have a matching spare for that. And I will have a matching spare for the Grand Cherokee, because I actually have, let's see, can you guys see that up there? Mm, no, not really. That is a brand new matching fifth wheel uh, for the Rubicon wheels on the Grand Cherokee, and the Grand Cherokee has Duratrax. So now I have matching spares for everything. Anyway, um, yes, I've been driving this thing on around. I have a new exhaust from the catalytic converters back. That's awesome. The front section of exhaust is still leaking. It's been all mouse poop welded together with different catalytic converters, so I'm still sorting through that, but it's running super awesome, even with that front O2 air fuel sensor bad and all the dash lights on starts up right away every time running awesome still a little bit noisy but you know whatever currently running well now i have no sway bars because the front one the end links were completely rusted out and the body mount bushings are like seized all rotten but i have new parts for that coming so i will be with brand new front sway bar New stock springs in the back. Just picked up a set of OE style Moog springs off Amazon because there literally was like an inch between the bump stop and the axle. So needed some springs. I picked up about an inch or so of lift. It needs new rear shocks too because it's uh, it's a little bouncy. So we'll get some new shocks, probably put some new struts uh, on the front. And I still have been cleaning. Um, you guys probably ain't gonna be able to tell. Ooh, shadow. Um, I'm gonna pull the seats out, fronts and rears, and I'm gonna pressure wash the crap out of them. Literally, they are so disgusting. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, some of these drill brushes. Uh, they work real good with some degreaser. Ooh, let me show you. I picked up this degreaser at the hardware store, this stuff right here, and I've been diluting it like, I don't know, three to one. 50-50 depending on what I've been cleaning and this stuff works really really awesome um, for the interior stuff it's like one part cleaner to three parts water which is stronger than what it says but this car has been really gross so that's what I've been doing and you can use it on fabric and uh, yeah I'm gonna pressure wash all of that stuff I even steam cleaned the uh, front seat you guys know how I like to steam clean uh, car upholstery the foam gives it a little bit better life and it sure did on that driver's seat brought it totally back to life the actually the upper part of the seat the outside bolster is way worse than the bottom one so there's that i know it was a weird long rambly video but i get excited when i've actually accomplished a lot of little things that have made things better like no exhaust leaks and a much more pleasant steering wheel and cleaner interior and better suspension parts uh so there's that uh what is the plan moving forward? Still gonna be doing little things to 
the GX. Going to get my camper next weekend, um, and then I can film a little bit of towing content with the rear airbags, um, the self-leveling stuff, and then after I've accomplished that, we can do the rear spring conversion with the old man emu uh, springs that were on the forerunner and do away with all the air suspension stuff and get rid of the rear sway bar and that uh, and some more content there. The forerunner, let's see, rear or the front sway bar is going to get rebuilt. Uh, it needs an alignment bad already um, and front struts are not that expensive and I'm getting pretty darn proficient at swapping Toyota front struts so I will probably throw those in there along with some new rear shocks and I'll have new suspension all the way around and get an alignment um, and it should be pretty great I don't it's the way that it has progressed quite a bit um, just in the little bit that I've been cleaning and tinkering on it I don't really have a problem putting a little bit more money into it before I sell it because I, I know that I'll get it back um, because it's exponentially getting better for what I'm, I'm doing to it um, so I'm happy about that and like I said more content on that because it's very interesting my thoughts and perceptions on that at least I think so and then um, once that is daily drivable, um, I'm gonna be bringing the Jeep in here and blowing the entire front end apart on that and finally getting that finished, doing a little bit of rust repair, and I'm getting rid of it. And I probably won't do any more content with it. I'm sorry, I just, I cannot make a connection with that vehicle and I'm ready to be rid of it um, and ready to be fixing the Forerunner to get rid of that and bring something else into the garage, so. There's that. I hope you had a great Easter. Be sure to check out all my other videos, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, hit that notifications uh, bell. I drop a video every Sunday and almost every Wednesday for the time being while I'm doing mountain bike stuff on Wednesdays. And follow the links in the description down below over to Instagram and Facebook where, of course, I post way more often and a lot more stuff than just Toyotas and Jeeps and mountain bikes. Um, there's family stuff and, and things like that. Uh, and you can always reach me at hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com for more in-depth questions or conversations, stuff like that. I answer all emails and reply to all comments as long as they're nice, uh, which they always are because you guys are awesome. So again, I hope you have a great Easter and until next time, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.